Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So just on the doorstep of version 25H2 of Windows 11, Microsoft has finally fixed a long-standing known issue and safeguard hold regarding Windows 11 24H2, where camera use might cause some apps to become unresponsive. Now, just a quick recap, because this has been going on for quite some time. After installing Windows 11 24H2, Microsoft said that certain devices might experience problems using the integrated camera in scenarios where object or face detection features are enabled. This can include using the camera app, using facial recognition, sign-in options with Windows Hello, and other applications that use the integrated camera. And because of this, back on the 18th of October last year, which was a couple of days after the start of the rollout of 24H2, Microsoft applied a safeguard. Microsoft applied a safeguard hold and a compatibility hold on device models affected by this issue, which meant that those devices would not be offered to install Windows 11 version 24H2 via the Windows update page on those devices. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft says that this issue now has been resolved. So basically, 11 months later, Microsoft has finally lifted that safeguard hold, saying that it has been removed as of 11 September 2025. Microsoft says that eligible devices with no other safeguard holds should now be able to install version 24H2 via the Windows Update page. But just take note, Microsoft says that it can take up to 48 hours before the update to Windows 11 version 24H2 is offered on this page. But what I always suggest if you want to get your hands on 24H2 and you were affected by this safeguard hold is that you restart your device which can hurry up and speed up the process and help the update be offered to your device faster. Now just on a side note regarding 24H2, although this safeguard hold has been lifted, personally I still feel that 24H2 is not stable enough. I've just posted a video regarding a fresh known issue that a recent update has caused and my 24H2 has been quite unstable in different aspects of the OS since I installed the update on the 1st of October last year. Granted, I did force the update using the update assistant, but by now, been so close to the next annual update, version 25H2, which should be rolling out over the next coming days, I would have thought that 24H2's bugs and most of its issues would have been sorted out by now, which is not the case. But nonetheless, if you want the update, restart your device, then check for updates, also known as seeking for updates, and that will hurry up the process if you want 24H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.